This section of notes covers areas of sectors and circles. Today we are going to use the formula for circle area and we're going to use that formula to find areas of sectors. This third objective we covered last time um, using circumference to find the distance traveled. First, let's review some vocabulary. And the first word we'd like to review is circumference. Circumference is the distance around a circle. The next word we'd like to review is diameter. Diameter is the distance across a circle. And finally, radius. A radius is half a diameter, and it's the distance from the center to the edge of the circle. Oops. Um, let's practice and identify these things. So the circumference goes all the way around the circle. That's the circumference. The diameter goes across the circle. So RQ is a diameter, and then a radius goes from the center to the edge. A couple more terms. Arc length. An arc length is a portion of the circumference. So... I'll label an arc length here. SR. Arc SR is an arc length. A sector is like a pie piece. So I'll do this in a different color. Here's a sector. Uh, the next thing we need to review is what is pi. Pi is the ratio between circumference and diameter. And for any circle, this ratio is the same. Pi is approximately 3.14159. It goes on forever and it never repeats. The formula for the area of a circle is area equals pi r squared where r is the radius. And we'll use this formula to solve some problems. Here's our first example. Find the area of a circle with radius nine centimeters. What I like to do is identify the radius, nine centimeters, write the formula, a equals pi r squared, and then plug in the values. So pi would be 3.14, or you can use more decimal places if you like, and then the radius is nine. Then I would get out my calculator to compute that. So I would do 3.14159 times 9 squared. And I get 254.8. And the unit is centimeter squared. Example 2, find the radius of a circle with area 12. In this case, I have A, area, that's 12, 
and I'd like to find the radius. I'll write down my formula, and then I'll plug in 12 for area. If it helps, you can plug in 3.14 for pi. And now I'm going to solve for r by dividing both sides by 3.14. And that leaves me with 12, oops, divided by 3.14 equals r squared. Again, I, need, I would um, put that into my calculator, and I'll get 3.822 equals r squared. And then to solve for r, I will take the square root of both sides. Remember that square root and squared undo each other. And the square root is 1.9. Example 3. Find the diameter of a circle with area 16 pi. Again, the area 16 pi, I'll write that down. The formula is pi r squared. And um, now I'll substitute in 16 pi for the area. So I'm actually going to take 16 pi and plug it in for a. So I'll get 16 pi equals pi r squared. My next step is to divide both sides by pi. Now, I would like you to notice that here when I divide by pi, I don't really need to think about the number. Pi divided by pi is 1. Pi divided by pi is 1. So I have 16 equals r squared. Um, next, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And I end up with r equals the square root of 16, which would be 4. Let's try example 4. A pizza measures 14 inches in diameter. Find the area of the pizza. Well, first of all, if the diameter is 14, that means the radius is half of that, is 7. So to find area, again, I'll use pi r squared, pi times 7 squared. You could just write this as 49 pi, or if you'd like an actual value, you would take 49, oops, 49 times 3.14, and um, you will get 153.9 square inches. If you divide the, the pizza evenly between four people, how much area will each person get? Well, let's go ahead and do C. Let's draw a picture here. Here's my pizza. Oops. And I'm going to divide it into four pieces. So each person will get one fourth of the 153.9 square inches. So that gives me 38.5 square inches. All right, moving right along, you can turn the paper over. Um, now we're going to find the area of irregular figures. These are, these I'll call composite figures because they are, this first one is a combination of two semicircles plus a rectangle. If I take the two shaded areas and put them together, it makes a circle. And it's a circle with a radius of 8. So that entire purple shaded region would be pi r squared, or 3.14 times 8 squared, or 201.1. Now let's work on the rectangle. We know 
that one dimension of the rectangle is 24, and the height of the rectangle is 16. It's equal to the diameter. The area of a rectangle is length times width, so that's 24 times 16, and that gives me 384. And then the total area is the sum, which is 585 square meters. Let's try another one with a composite shape. Um, here, I can see that the diameter is 20 millimeters, which means the radius of the semicircle is 10. So the area of the semicircle is going to be half the area of a circle, half pi r squared. So I'll plug in the radius of 10, and when I multiply that out, I'll get 157.1. Next, I need to do the rectangle. Here's my rectangle. The area is the length times the width. The length is 10, the width is 20. So that area is 200. When I add these together, I get 357 millimeters squared. Our next example, example seven, find the area of the sector. What I'm going to do here is remind myself that this is a portion of a circle. It's about a quarter of a circle. So this isn't perfect, but hopefully it gives you the idea that I've got one quarter of a whole circle. Oops, not one half. One quarter. So I'm going to take one quarter of pi r squared. So that's 1 fourth times pi times 8 squared. So that would be 1 fourth times pi times 8 squared. Oops. 8 squared. You get 50.24. Finally, example eight, find the area of the sector. Again, this is a portion of a circle, and the angle is 30 degrees. Now, I don't have room to draw this whole thing, but all the way around the circle is 360 degrees. If I reduce this, I'll find that this is 1 12th of a circle. So the area is going to be 1 12th pi r squared, 1 twelfth pi times 5 squared, and that comes out to 6.5 square meters. All right, excellent. You should be ready to try the homework, which is on page 606, 3 through 10, 15, 16, 23, and 24, and can also be found posted on Canvas. Good luck.